Hey everyone, before we jump into today's math problem, let's take a moment to focus on our breath and relax with a brief meditation. So wherever you are, sit up tall with your feet planted firmly on the ground and your hands resting on your thighs. Gently close your eyes and take a deep inhale through your nose. and exhale slowly also through your nose. On the next slow inhale through your nose, send the breath to any parts of your body that may be feeling tense. And as you exhale slowly through your nose, Feel that tension release. On the next deep inhale through your nose, feel your spine growing nice and tall as your lungs fill. And as you exhale slowly through your nose, Maintain the length of that spine. And let's take one last deep inhale through your nose. And at the top, hold your breath for a few seconds. And then exhale through your nose as slowly as you can, savoring that breath and feeling a sense of relaxation and calmness and peace. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes. This problem comes from the College Board. It's from Section 3 of the SAT test, which does not allow calculators. And it says, if 5 over x is equal to 15 over x plus 20, What's the value of x over 5? So give this problem a try, see what you can do. And if you're not sure how to approach it, you can even just take a guess. And in about a minute, we'll have a look at it together. great problem for us to look at because it contains a trap that commonly appears in SAT math problems. So let's have a look. We've got an equation with one variable, so we can start solving for x. And you guys know about cross multiplication, so I can say 5 times x plus 20 equals 15x. And you can start distributing the 5. So I have 5x plus 100 equals 15x. I can subtract 5x from both sides. And I have 100 equals 10x. I can divide both sides by 10. And I end up with x equals 10. And I may think that I'm done. And I can select answer A. But slow down. Look very carefully at what the question is asking. And that's the trap. In math class, we often end 
when we find the value for the unknown. But before you select a final answer, you should always look at what the question is asking for. So they want to know what is x over 5? Well, if x is equal to 10, then x over 5 is going to be 10 over 5, which is equal to 2. And lo and behold, 2 is the correct answer. It would be very easy to select A as the correct answer because that's the value for X. And that's exactly what the trap is. They want to know if you're just going to stop at that point and erroneously pick A as the right answer. So always, always check what the question is asking for. They often expect you to go one additional step and that allows you to make sure you're selecting the correct answer. I hope you enjoyed seeing this tip. It's a really important one that applies to all problems that appear on the SAT math test. If you have any questions or any suggestions or requests, please leave them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. And if you subscribe to this channel, you'll be notified of new videos as they get posted. I enjoyed working together and I look forward to seeing you next time.